Right now wearing masks, um, you can see Rutler, Rutler. Mm -hmm. My next favorite K-Beauty item is, and you can see how worn out. That is my makeup. You're welcome. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I like a kind of side um, part here. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Hey, what's up and welcome to the Half Crane Experience. I'm Erin and today y'all are getting ready with me. And in the beginning here, I'm gonna go over my favorite K-Beauty products. All right, so let's get into it. First off, my favorite face wash. This is Cos RX brand, triple hyaluronic moisturizing cleanser, okay? Um, hyaluronic acid, which is in this, which is something that I look a lot for in my products which is a moisturizing um, acid. So basically what it does is it can like increase the water in your skin in the product by like six, I think. But anyways, hyaluronic acid, moisturizing cleanser, COSRX, one of my favorite, favorite brands. All right, I do not promote them. I don't get paid by them. I'm just a fan. I just love them. So next, what I've been using here lately, which you can see I've been using a lot of, is COSRX, COSRX, going to be a trend <laughs> is AHA BHA um, clarifying treatment toner. So this is for people who suffer with whiteheads and blackheads, which right now wearing masks, um, you can see Rutler, Rutler. Mm -hmm. um, I've been breaking out. So all around like where I wear a mask and because I have braces, um, it just causes more bacteria in my mask. So what happens is this all right, so what I've been doing is every day, morning, night, I use this AHA BHA cleanser. So I really high, re highly recommend this too for um, just teenagers that are kind of suffering with breakouts. This stuff is really, really good stuff. And it's for blackheads and whiteheads, so good stuff. Next up, this is a one-step, Cos RX, one-step um, original clear pad, um, like little pads that you can wash your face with. Okay, um, I use this as my gentle kind of cleanser or toner. Um, so when I don't use my AHA BHA um, acid toner, I use this one. So days that I'm kind of no makeup home, um, you know, haven't been out, haven't worn a mask, I'll use this one instead of this one. All right, so this is my normal one. This is the one that I've been using just to make sure that I don't break out. All right, so Cost RX One Step Original Clear Pad. All right, amazing, amazing stuff. Seriously, my skin has gotten so much clearer since I started using this, like um, about six months ago, really. When this all started, and like I'd wear masks and I'd start getting breakouts, so it's really good stuff. Okay, next, Cost RX Hyaluronic Intense Cream. This stuff is amazing. Um, like I said, the hyaluronic acid, which is in this and in my cleanser, basically really like just makes your skin feel so moist and plump after you put it on. And this stuff really, really does it. So after I put it on, I just feel like so moisturized and like um, my skin just feels so plump. And like when it plumps up like that, like literally you can see like your, um, your wrinkles like going away because it kind of plumps your skin. So very good stuff. Very good stuff. I love it. Okay, Cost RX. I'm telling you, um, and it's not that expensive. I feel like if I would buy this um, in a brand that I would normally have have used before, which I've used some really good brands and spent some money on like eye creams, face creams, that kind of thing. You know, the anti aging properties, no wrinkles, want want want. But this stuff right here, I'm telling you. If I was to buy it there, it'd be like $80, but I think I spent like $28 on this, okay? And I think the this was maybe like, I think it was 20 or under 20. Really not that bad, really not expensive. Um, it's good quality for what you get. So I'm, I love COSRX. It is my new favorite brand and I've been sticking with it, so. My next favorite K-Beauty item is, and you can see how worn out it is. I use this a lot. Okay, this is my foundation. It is Huxley brand. Um, very good stuff. It has good coverage. Sometimes I'll even add like, if I have a breakout or, um, you know, I, I do have a lot of freckles. 
So my white side of me has a lot of freckles. Half of my face, actually, if you can see, is like more freckled than the, it's same thing down my body, right? Like a straight line down my body. One side's freckled, one side's not. It's just, I'm weird, okay, weird. But this Huxley brand, this gives you really, really good coverage. And you guys are actually gonna see me use it soon, okay? My next thing that I like a lot is VDL, which I also have, Oh yeah, I have something else from them too. VDL, this is the Luma Layer Primer. Um, so if I'm looking for kind of like that glowy look, and honestly, it's normally when I don't wear a lot of makeup and I wanna have like a glow or an undertone um, to my primer, I will use this one. It's a really good primer. I highly recommend it, VDL, not expensive at all. It's really, really cheap. Um, I forget which one I got this off of, but I will find it and I will put the link in the description below. Okay, for where you can get all this stuff. Um, and then the other VDL that I use is I use it an eye primer. So this is Extra Expert Eyes VDL Eye Primer. Very, um, very pretty color. I don't know if you can really get a look at the color on that one, but um, very pretty color, very light, very kind of sheer look, but it gives you like a nice little glisten, not too glittery. That's one thing that I don't like is when something leaves me looking very glittery and I don't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get ready. I'm gonna start with the VDL, <laughs> there it is, Luma Layer Primer, okay? I've already washed my face and moisturized, all right? So now, I really don't like that around my eyes, but here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just put on my primer. Okay, before I get in with my, and look at my hand. I don't know if you can see like how it just, has like a really pretty sheer to it. Today you're gonna get like my um, my five to 10 minute makeup because I'm really not in the mood for some makeup today and I'm not really going anywhere today. So, you know, this is not what I do when I'm not, well, I honestly, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I, um, I don't like an overdone look. So that's just me. All right, so got my primer on. If you can see, you can tell I have like a nice little kind of glisten, just kind of glistens, you know, glistening. And then I'm going into my Huxley with my, this thing is worn out. All right, I need to get a new one. Um, but this guy is just worn out. Like he's used a lot. All right, I'm going in for that one right there. Oh, I've been just like everyone else, I'm sure, fighting breakout. You know, it's just that kind of year, a lot of masks. So I'm gonna go in kind of close to my eyes, not too close. All right. I do my, I do like around my eyes because of my freckles and I need to really, I have to really even out my skin tone, okay. I'm actually gonna be doing, um, it's like an Asian, or very popular in Korea, like a Korean um, laser, like CO2 treatment. <laughs> so I am actually gonna be doing that one soon, and I'm gonna be filming the whole thing, so you guys are gonna get to see. So hopefully, some of these little sunspots will go away, okay? I am, um, oh, I forgot to show my other one which I'm gonna go ahead and show it now because it really is one of my favorites. Another K-Beauty product. I really, 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 really like this stuff. It's called Primary UV Protector. This is like 50 SPF and it's waterproof. All right, so Primera brand. Um, I use this one and it has some really good stuff in it. It has like black sesame sprout extract, black bean sprout extract, so it's, it's got some really good stuff in it. But the main thing is, is I, um, I'm i outside a lot. Um, and one of my hobbies is actually paddle boarding. And I love to be out by like lakes and oceans and that kind of thing. I'm gonna do another layer um, of foundation today, just because I've got the light right on me <laughs> while I'm filming this. And it just makes me realize, you know, I, I need more. Okay, I need some more coverage here. Um, but anyway, so I like to be outside and I like to paddleboard, um, which then since I'm on the water, um, the sun reflects on me a lot. So I need a really good sunscreen. And um, I feel like a lot of them, as soon as you get in the water, they just like melt right off. Or if you get sprayed with water, 
but this one does not. It really does not. Um, and I have like a little like almost fanny pack that I do use and wear when I'm out paddle boarding. So this fits right in. So I love that about that. So it fits in my little pouch, my little waterproof pouch, you know, that I have. All right, so foundation is done. Now, I since I'm doing my 10 minute makeup, I'm actually gonna show you one of my favorite, favorite little things. This is called Iconic London Illuminator. I got this in like an Ipsy bag, which I like Ipsy bags. Um, I used to get like a boxy charm, but Ipsy's a bit cheaper. So this I got in there and I have been using this a lot and you don't need a lot. I use this on my cheeks. So I just put like literally like two drops and then I just kind of go along my cheekbone line. Okay. And then I kind of just really blend it in. I like to use my fingers a lot. Um, when it comes to, I feel like, I don't know, the warmth of my finger and like the patting <laughs> on my skin just really kind of gets, and then with the leftovers, I go up and down my nose and I hit this right here, like right above your, your lip there to where it like really um, accentuates your lips. Okay. All right, there it is. So I make sure that I don't get this near like my under eye or it just looks weird. Okay, so now I have like a pretty little glow. And then I'm gonna use my, okay, this one, Bye Bye Pores by It Illuminator. So this is my, um, everything's illuminating right now, I just noticed. But this is my, um, what is it called? My setting powder, <laughs> there it is. This is my setting powder. All right, and then I got like my little like airy brush here. Okay, so then I just kind of very lightly, now that I've got my wet stuff on, okay, my wet, I just kind of go over this, like kind of very gently. Okay, if I was gonna be like really filming today a lot um, and sweating, <laughs> Cause like these lights, they really make you hot. I would be using a powder on top, but since today is an easy makeup day, just a little bit of foundation and some setting powder. Okay, so now I have more of a matte look than like a shine look, which that's the kind of look I like. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my It. All right, here it is. Oh, you can see my, <laughs> you can see my filming. There it is. My It Ombre Radiance Blush. Okay, beautiful stuff. It has like, I like that it's ombre. So it has like a lighter, um, <laughs> you can see, there I am. Um, it has kind of like a lighter tone and then it goes into the darker. So I really like that. All right, and then, I, since I already put a little bit of that other stuff, it really colors your cheeks too. The um, the illuminate the iconic illuminator. So I don't put on much blush. So I'm just gonna kind of take it and just press it in right there. That's it. That's all I want. And then I'm gonna go in for do some eyes. All right, now that I got all that done, I have my Tartlet in Bloom, my favorite. I love Tarte. Okay. I like that they have, this is like the clay makeup. I like that they have clay makeup. So since today is simple, all right, I'm going in with this to start, okay? This is the one that I use right under to kind of highlight my eyes underneath, all right? And then like in here, okay? And then, I'm gonna go into this one, all right? I, I know I should probably be changing brushes. <laughs> I'm sure all the professional makeup artists are like screeching right now. Um, but I, yeah, I am lazy <laughs> when it comes to changing brushes. Okay, just like that. All right, one tone, light, and then a little, a little, uh, yeah, I'm pinkish here. All right, and then 
since it's an easy day. I'm gonna change brushes, okay? I'm gonna go in for this one, okay? So just a simple little kind of light brown. I always start at the edge and then I move it in and then I kind of do like a swoop, 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 swoop. That's it. That's a little darker than I uh, planned for there. All right, start at the edge, move it in and then swoop, swoop, swoop. Kind of like a window washer, you know? That's it, done. Okay. And then I'm gonna take, where is it? I forgot it. All right, I'm gonna, then I kind of go on top here and then I kind of blend it out. To be, I like, I like it to blend out just like that. Because I'm gonna use this again, all right, my It Ombre Radiance. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into like the little, right there, the top part. And then I'm just gonna pat it here because it's got some shine to it and then it kind of highlights your eyebrow, okay? And then it has kind of like a little pinky highlighted look. I like that. Okay, do that. And then I'm gonna go in with this again and then I'm gonna kind of blend it out here. Okay, just like that. Ta-da! All right, now, I've got my very, very worn down, oops, excuse me, uh, my eyebrow brush or my eyebrow um, tint, okay? This is Anastasia brand. I will tell you that I know that for sure, but I like this a lot. I really, really like this a lot. This is like my favorite. I also have, um, let's see, this one, which is the It brow power all right brow power but when i'm doing um if i'm going out or if i'm doing like um a lot of brows this is typically what i will use and then i might brush it over with this but since it's a simple day actually you know what i'm just going to show you what i do okay so i start with my brow power all right and then i brush up. I go always in the direction of my brows and I have like holes in my brows. So I have to like make sure I fill it in and then I kind of make it a bit longer. So then here I go up and then I start to go over. I really don't do much to my brows. Um, I don't like to really, I only pluck like the wild guys that <laughs> get like down here. Okay, but I don't do, um, I don't like to line, I like them to be kind of look, I like them to be natural. If I can just spit it out and then I brush it out. Okay, go along my, with the hair. Okay, so that's step one. So then there it looks kind of tinted. All right, gently tinted. And then I go in with this. And if I just use my pencil, like I really only go over this once. But when I'm going for like my real simple look, this really though is enough. Yeah, it's, I just like them kind of tinted. I don't know if you can see that, but very gentle, nothing, not too much. Uh, anyway, then, um, Eyeliner, I use it sometimes. <laughs> I don't use a lot of eyeliner, I'm gonna be honest. I normally just like would put on mascara, but I will show you what I do for my eyeliner because I keep it very simple. And I feel like those that have almond eyes or Asian eyes, um, I feel like accentuating the ends of your eyes is the most important. So that's why I wanna show you what I do. And this is R. Kelly. Araceli, something like that, but this is a brown color. Um, I This is a very dark brown, so I normally go with black, but since I don't um, like a very um, strong eyeliner look on me personally, I went for a brown. So what I do, you see the tip? The tip is very, very important, okay? Because I use the tip and then I 
I use the tip to like mark. Hang on. I think I need to see this here. Hang on. So the tip is everything. All right, so you mark it out. I see it actually. And then you bring it in. Like that. So you like do you just like here, let me show you over here. Ooh, I got like sleep in my eyes here. Goodness. Okay. You mark it. Boom. Okay. And then just bring the end in. And that's it. Like literally, I'm just filling it in. But I only do that. That's as much eyeliner as I put on. So, but I just realized. It's really hard to do it like in that mirror or in the phone. And I, because if you see, <laughs> this one got thicker than this one. This is my ideal right here. Okay. But since I was doing it in the phone and I couldn't really see, this one is exactly how I normally like it. But this one got real thick. See that? Yeah, that's what happened. So I fixed it. I did more eyeliner than I ever do. <laughs> but now you know how to fix it. You just gotta make, make sure they look identical. Okay. So next up, mascara. Um, Waterproof mascara, okay. And I have CoverGirl Clump Crusher. All right, so this stuff, which I like, very good waterproof mascara. Um, even when I would go paddleboarding, like this stuff really, really holds up. But really, this is all you need. Just a really good CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Um, even CoverGirl's waterproof mascara is not bad at all, but this Clinique one really is top notch when it comes to waterproof. So, but it's very, um, very, there's a lot of product in here. So what happens is when I put it on, it gets clumpy. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Well, actually it didn't get too clumpy this time, but sometimes it gets really, really clumpy which I like my eyelashes to just be like tinted and then just like very nicely separated. Okay, so then I'll take this and then I go through it with the clump crusher. Okay, and then, because I like this end on it. You see how it's kind of like a silicone-y end on it there? Like that's everything when it comes to like something to, I don't like those those like mascara brushes that really are supposed to be for declumping because then they dry and then they just get all like clumpy. And then you get like dry mascara in there. So I have found that this is what works. So using a mascara that has this particular end on it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here. I literally do one swoop down for my bottoms. I don't like a lot of mascara on my bottoms. Okay, that's it. And then I have my lip tint, okay, sugar tint. This is Juicy Pain, okay? I just got this. I'm gonna actually be doing a review on it, so I'm kind of cheating but I just got it and I forgot my lipstick in my bathroom. So uh -huh, I have to use this. Mm, it tastes and smells really good. I go, so this um, color is guava. I'll tell you, the colors that I go for, oh, that's pretty, is a more like, it's too much though. Like, not this is too much. I don't like. Okay. I don't like bright lips, but the colors that I normally go, go for because of my skin is more of like an orangey kind of a guava 
you know, color. So that is my makeup. You're welcome. So then I'm gonna show you my hair routine. All right, so I've had, a, I've had some comments and some questions on how I do my hair, all right? And I'm pretty sure they're talking about like my long kind of curled look. Um, cause it was when I had that look in my hair. So I'm going to show you. All right. So this is my hair just air dried. Okay. I don't like to use, because I use iron or straight irons and, um, like a curling wand on my hair, I don't like to blow dry it. And because it's, it's long enough to where it can air dry and then it can just be down like this. But this is my raw hair right here. Okay. This is it. You're welcome. All right, so what I have is my clip, and I always have a good clip. You have to have a good clip because I have very thick, coarse Korean hair. You know, for all the Koreans, you know the hair, right? It's very coarse, it's very thick. It can get very big, okay? If I even blow dry my hair, it's like, okay? So let me just kind of sit up here so you can see. Um, I have a really good hair clip. All right, my favorite one. And then I have my Bio Ionic 10X hair straightener, okay? Um, it has controls on here and it has a vibrating function. So I really like it. I f um, so when they advertise like the vibrating function, it's like supposed to like really make your hair look more sleek and smoothed out. And I really feel like it does. So what I did is I've portioned off some of my hair, all right, on the bottom. Get my thick hair clip right there. All right, and then I have a comb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten, just calm down my hair about halfway. Actually, no, about three-fourths the way because my hair's so long. And then on the last fourth, I don't add heat to it because I'm only trying to smooth this part down. And then I'm gonna use this to kind of curl it. Okay, so I smooth it out that much because I'm about to curl it here. And then here, where we go? All the way down about a fourth and leave it. Okay, so at least this part looks better. This right here just isn't smoothing. Right there, there it is. Okay. So then what I do is I'm gonna take the curling iron. And this took me practice to figure this out. Alright, I'm just I'm telling you. Like give yourself patience and practice to really work on this and just so notice I'm going in at an angle. I'm starting at half of my hair. I'm gonna flip it back one time and then I turn it and then I pull it down, all right? And because this is a really good curling iron or really good straightener, it's really smooth how it comes down. So it's really hard to do this if you don't have a really good straightener, all right? And I'm gonna be honest, this straightener was like, it was about $200, okay? But it's worth it. Um, I do, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of picky when it comes to things that go in my hair and my face. Like I'm, you know, anyway, same thing on the other side. Okay. Grab it, flip it, pull it down. Okay. And then I'm going to do this one here. All right. Grab, flip, go down. Just like that. Okay. Ta-da. Now. Go to about here, same thing. Okay, and I roll it around. Mm -hmm. Then I do it like the opposite way. Oh yeah, there it is right there. It's a nice little bump. All right, now grab the comb, okay? Hold it right in front of, so it's passing through your hair before the straightener, okay? So then I feel like it like helps to really separate your hair because I only like to do one pass, okay?
okay? I prefer. You know, there's times where maybe my um, hair, I put too much in it and then it's not gonna really smooth it out well, but I like to do one pass and I feel like the comb and a good straightener is what can do it. Okay, about one fourth left. Then I don't do my end, ends. And I feel like I wanna take care of my ends because I like the length of my hair right now, but also like the, these ends of, of your hair are so old. You know, you gotta think about how old and frail the, like this, how long my hair is, this is. So I just, I don't like to add too much heat until I curl it, you know? And then, oh, and if you're wondering what hair products I use, I don't use much. I literally use Paul Mitchell um, moisturizing shampoo, which I really have different brands that I do use. I use Redken, like the smoothing one too, a lot. Um, but Paul Mitchell was on sale. I get what's on sale. And then, um, the main thing that I do use when I come out of the shower, because I only condition my ends is I will use Miracle 10, um, spray and conditioner, but I don't use a lot. Of, I only use sh or shampoo. I only use hairspray if um, it's like humid outside and I'm curling my hair, I will spray it before I use it um, because I don't like to use a lot of just heavy product on my hair either. I know I'm kind of, that twist was weird. So we go halfway, twist it out, there it is. And I like this kind of curl in your hair because it gives you kind of like that really good like beach wave kind of look. So it's not like a luxurious curl, which I do do sometimes. And when I do my luxurious kind of end curls on my hair, cause I really only normally do the ends because of my length, um, I use a curling wand and I will show you guys that one eventually. But this is kind of more of like a beach wavy kind of look here. So this is kind of like the fun beach wave. And I'm really lazy. And another reason why I like my long hair is because I can do this and then I can, I don't have to wash my hair for like three days. <laughs> this whole, this hairstyle will hold up. And really my hair's always held curl well. So I know a lot of my friends that have like, maybe finer hair than me, like, you know, they'd get, they'd be like, how does your hair still be curly? I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the coarseness, but you know, to get it that way is a lot of work. They don't realize that. <laughs> All right, so curling it and pulling it down. And then again, After I do this one, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and you guys are gonna get the fast forwarded edition until I get to my face, my, my, the hair on my face, okay? All right, so stay tuned, keep watching, don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm on the last parts of my hair. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I like a kind of side um, part here. Okay, there it, <laughs> there it is. So my hair just kind of falls there. It's used to where I, I put it. So let's see, there it is. All right, so that's my side part. 
Um, and if you're kind of wondering about like the color of my hair, this is all me. All right, so this is my natural color. Um, but the highlight in it is actually called a balayage. So I'm sure that some of you have heard of balayage, but it's kind of like that subtle kind of um, highlight where they start and then they kind of go to your roots, but then it kind of comes together and comes down. This is about six months old, <laughs> okay? Which I, I'm the benefit of a balayage is that it can have a grown out look and still not look bad, okay? So I would say about a couple months ago, it was still looking pretty good, like a month or two ago. But because of COVID that's going on around here right now, um, I've had like, I've had, I think it's two, uh, like two or three like canceled um, appointments with my hairstylist um, just because like she changed her whole schedule and then um, because of COVID and then anyway, and then, you know, she had to quarantine and then she got COVID. So my poor little hairdresser, shout out to you. I hope you get better. Um, but I am so ready to get this fixed. Like it's, it's like, it's in like desperation mode here. All right. So, you know, like, I do use purple shampoo like here and there um, just to make sure that my highlights don't get like that real ugly orange look to them. Um, but the color that I went for because my hair is like a dark brown, um, it was like a caramel. So we kind of decided on a caramel last time. I have gone like full blonde, like ombre, full ashy blonde, like balayage, that kind of thing. But because of my hair, um, it really kind of ruined it. Um, not bad, like, but it just, like I really needed to tame down on the blonding because they really have to bleach my hair. And it takes like, for me to get my blonde, like ombre look, it took like me going there mm, like three times, I think, just to get it blonde. Yeah, only because of my length, right? So if I had short, short hair, they could have done it in like one sitting, but they want to kind of take it easy if you have longer hair, because they don't want to ruin it, which I, you know, I appreciate that, I really do. Um, but it was just such a process and it just, it was too much. And when you balayage blonde, like they keep adding more um, balayage to your hair. So it was just like, it was just like my half, like more than three fourths of my hair was just blonde. And I liked it, don't get me wrong. Like I really did like it. And I think it was very fun, but it was a lot of maintenance, a lot of purple shampoo. Yeah. Okay, so when it comes to the ones around my face and like kind of in this region, um, I tend to do smaller pieces for my my curling, okay? So I like to have a more separated look than, um, that's a beautiful one right there, right? And with the balayage, it looks good. That's the other thing I like about a balayage. Um, is that it really, when you have your hair curled, is when it looks the best. And what I do here is I kind of go in for like the pieces right here. There it is. Let's Which, you know, in a day, it's gonna look like all molded together. But for now, I like to do smaller pieces. Like if I was going out on the town or something, this is how I do my hair. And honestly, like this holds up better for me than like just straightening it. Because I feel like when you straighten it and then I, I do exercise a lot. And then when I exercise, it's like, oh my goodness. Then it starts to get like these waves in it because I like to get in a really good sweat. So then it just gets like wavy and then I have to keep like kind of re-straightening my hair 
But when it comes to these, like the more they fall out every day, I, I like the look of it. So like every day my hair looks a little different and a little, just like the curls are kind of falling out more beach wavy as the days go on. And I like that a lot. So then as I get farther to the back, then the pieces that I pick get thicker, a little thicker. I don't do thick, thick pieces like at all really, but just when I get around my face is when I kind of thin it out a little bit and then going for the last one. Okay, let me check this side. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, so that is my beach wave kind of hair tutorial. So once my hair, I really don't like to touch it too much, but once my hair is cooled off, you gotta make sure it's cooled off, then I'll kind of run my fingers through it. Okay, kind of just like that. All right, and that's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then that's my hair for today, for the next few days. So I'm gonna be shooting in a couple days. So then you guys are gonna see what it looks like day three. <laughs> okay, so it won't look this curly, but it'll still have like the nice little waves in it. So anyways, and then hopefully by this week, I'll have my hair appointment. So that is really what I'm looking forward to is to fixing this balayage and getting it, you know, where it should be. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching the Half Korean Experience. Thank you for getting ready with me and listening to my Korean beauty product reviews and some of my favorite things when it comes to Korean beauty products. Thanks for watching my makeup tutorial and my hair tutorial. All right, so if you guys like more things like this, um, then please let me know. Let me know what you think about the video down below in the comments, all right? And then give me some ideas of what you wanna see. All right, hey, thank you guys so much again for watching. All right, peace out, bye.